guys welcome back to the vlog it is sunday today actually which is strange i honestly i feel like i never vlog my weekends like maybe once in a blue moon um but this week i said is exciting because it's my first like long weekend of my new work schedule so i am off tomorrow and then i work tuesday through friday um my new hours are going to be 8 30 to 6 i believe and i think i have an hour lunch break so I could be wrong and I could get a two hour lunch break, but I haven't looked at my schedule. I don't look at my schedule ahead of time because it gives me anxiety. <laughs> um, so I have tomorrow off and I thought I would like start the vlog today because um, I have some fun things. I don't, they're not fun things. I don't know how to explain them, but um, I have some things that I need to get done today that I thought I would bring you guys along with and it's just kind of like do an errand day. Seth is at his fall festival for his school. I feel really bad for him actually because he works his butt off like Monday through Friday. He works like 12 hour shifts most of the time and then he has to go in on a Sunday and it really puts him in a bad mood and I like cannot blame him for that. Um, so he is there. I am getting ready to head to the gym. My entire gym schedule is going to have to change because as you guys know, I usually go to the gym during my lunch break, but which is like two hours long on my like five days a week work week, but it's no longer going to be that. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I will bring you guys along as I'm figuring it out, but I am, that's like what I'm the most nervous about because I've had such a good gym schedule and I felt so strong and like really good about my body lately like i just really like the way i look which sounds conceited but it that it just is the way it is um i'm really proud of the work that i put into myself and like the muscle that i have gained so i'm a little nervous about that to be honest but we will figure it out so anyway what i was getting to is that i'm going to the gym today which sundays are not a day that i really go to the gym i either do Sometimes I do Pilates or yoga on Sundays, but never really the gym. But now I'm going to start like working out every day that I'm off because I'm not sure if I'm gonna get in a workout on my days that I'm on. So we're going to the gym. I think I'm gonna do a leg day, I think. Um, and I'm, um, I just made myself some BCAAs. I never use this anymore, I need to. I love these BCAAs. <laughs> um, I just buy them on Amazon, but they're from Evolution Nutrition. They are the cherry lime flavor. They taste so freaking good. Um, so, I think I'm gonna film it for TikTok. I need to film for more of my workouts for TikTok, but it's just hard. Like, I feel kind of awkward filming in the gym. <laughs> but we're gonna do that. And then tomorrow, I am filming like content for the glow bar and we're having our final meeting um before we take everything public we got our llc last week we got our malpractice insurance we just need to like open our own bank account and i'm also getting a facial tomorrow my friend mara that was her birthday present to me was a facial at her med spa that she works at so i'm going there to get a facial and then we're gonna go to her house and do like some content afterwards so i'm excited for that and oh i want to let you guys know i got my hair done yesterday I just do um, a glaze now, probably like every three months or so, just as I am growing like all of the highlighted hair out, because I highlighted my hair for so long, my ends will kind of turn red or like a light brown that I don't like. I really like the dark on me. I think it looks really good. So I get a chocolate brown glaze and then she just did a haircut. I asked for a lot of layers and framed pieces around my face and that's literally it she slays it every time i love having dark hair i don't know if i will ever go back to blonde hair it's just like so low maintenance i feel like it looks so much better on me than blonde hair ever did i don't know maybe that's just like me talking but let's go to the gym every time i film myself at the gym i feel like i'm conquering my biggest fear i don't usually go to the gym on sundays but because of my new work routine i am like switching things up so today's a quads and calves day let's get into it oh my god you guys okay I just smashed that workout. It was so good. I never had a good, oh, okay, pause. Um, I've been obsessed with the night. I was obsessed with the 1975 before the concert and now I have become more obsessed with the 1975 because Maddie Healy was literally everything at the concert. Like he had glasses, he had like scruff. I was living for it. Um, but anyway i had an amazing freaking workout i did legs it was so good and then afterwards i did like a little run which um 
I am not a runner at all. I have inappropriate tachycardia, which is basically where like my heart rate gets higher than it should whenever I'm doing physical activity. So like I will be like lifting weights and tech and like when you're lifting weights, your heart rate doesn't really get that high, but my heart rate will be like in the 130s, 140s. And then when I run, my heart rate's at like 200, um, which is not what it should be. So like my max heart rate should be is 220 minus your age. So my max heart rate is like 197 is what it should be. And like, I'll be at 200. So that's not good. My heart should not be working that hard. So I try not to do it that often. So I'm never like running. It's more like jogging. So I ran at like a 5.6. Um, and that was fine. It was good. I had a great time. I only did it for like 10 minutes and then I walked for five. So it wasn't crazy, but I am posting that tick that workout to TikTok because I got a bunch of clips. I'm so proud of myself. I literally filmed the entire time, um, and there was a good amount of people in there, so I'm very proud of myself. So to reward myself, because obviously I need a reward, I'm gonna go grab a Starbucks coffee, and then we are gonna do a little bit of shopping. It's not like casual shopping. It's with a plan. I need to get um a vest kind of like you know the vests that are like men's vests that women have been wearing that they would wear like underneath a suit well we are doing our little photo shoot tomorrow and i thought it would be super cute if mara wore like all black and then i wore all cream um but i ordered a vest from amazon it does not fit me it's way too big and it's not like good quality at all it looks terrible so course me being me I'm last minute we're taking the photos tomorrow I need to go find something that's gonna be cute it might end up being like that we're both wearing black with our white coats on I don't know Ugh. I really like I had it in my head that it would look really cute with like cream and black so I'm kind of upset about this but it is what it is so yeah god I'm hot mm-hmm Yep, the way I can't find that anywhere. I scoured the entire mall beside me. I went into stores I would never go into, like, what is it called? White something black market? White black market? I went into Talbot's. I went into Dillard's. I went into Macy's. The only thing I found one at Dillard's, but it was plaid. They had no singular colors because it's fall, which makes sense, but. I'm like, come on. I even started looking in the guy section and they had nothing small enough like that I would, it wouldn't look good. Ugh, I'm like, I don't know what to do. I have completely struck out. Nothing at Target. I did get some pillows for our chairs that I think are gonna be super cute. I saw these, well, I'll show you guys. I got a few pillows from Pottery Barn yesterday because I had a gift card and they are absolutely perfect on our couch but then i was looking for something for our, those brown chairs that you guys have seen i just couldn't find anything that was speaking to me but i feel like i found i feel like these are gonna look so cute because they have a little bit of like brown in them um and it's just gonna like it's gonna work really well and i also got a blanket my go-to snack right now is these crackers with a little bit of vegan cheese I'm using Bio Life right now. And then some little crackers I'll put hot sauce on and some I'll put jam on. Um, it's so good. I grew up like eating cheese and jam. My mom is Danish. My grandparents literally came over here so that my grandpa could go to medical school. Um, and I visited Denmark and Norway like a long time ago. In 2011 and I just the cheese to bread thing over there is so good and their cheese is so much better than ours I mean obviously this is vegan cheese too so I don't know but I don't know it's just been hitting the spot for me lately some ones I'll do a little hot sauce on too because I love hot sauce Got a little chipotle for dinner they did not salt or put lime on these so Seth is grabbing a lime from our lime tree and we're gonna put our own salt on them we're just Go easy, though. Yeah. 
A little salt. Some more salt on there. Well, I already put some on there. Watch out. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to taste like. Better? Mm hmm. I think so. Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. I woke up around like 8 o'clock today. Um, I just made myself a coffee. I sat outside. I did like my devotional. I did my meditation. I'm just um, going. I'm just like putting away my dryer rack clothes from yesterday right now. But the plan for today is I need to do a grocery shop. And then <clears throat> I also, I'm gonna go to the gym and we're gonna have a good, like a good workout. I really would love to go to the car wash and clean out my car today because it is literally in shambles. So we'll see if I have time to do that because I'm also, going to Winter Haven today. Um, I already told you guys about that, but to shoot content and I'm getting a facial. And I need to stop by the mall before I go there because you guys, as you guys know from yesterday, I could not find anything resembling a women's vest top. And then I was like, oh, well maybe Seth has something and I could just like tie it up in the back and make it look fitted. No, he doesn't have anything, so. I'm gonna try to run by the International Mall today before we go because I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I haven't told Mara yet because I don't want her to freak out, but that's the plan for today. I would love to meal prep a little bit, um, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do that. So I already, like every week I plan out the meals that we're having for the week, so I know what to cook and I buy like the right ingredients for that week. I got you guys a present. <gasps> I did. I got two. So one for each baby, okay? Hold on, let me take off the tag. Okay. I know, I know. How exciting. How exciting. Oh, he said who's he knows. He said who's he knows. I don't know who wants what. This one. Bob. Hold on. Oh, okay. Camper just took that. This one, bitch, has a squeaker in it, so I think you would like it, Hoji. You want to hear the squeak? Oh, yeah. Here. You can take it. Play with it. It's a baby. <laughs> just got back from Publix. Gonna unload the groceries, and then I think I'm actually gonna meal prep lasagna soup for tonight, um, and then head to the gym. Camper's out here with his new toy. He is feral with toys. He'll like shake it around, like hit himself with it. Let's see if he does it. There we go. <laughs> Hoshi, can I see your new toy, babe? Oh, you wanna play with mom with it? Oh, it's got a good one, yeah. <gasps> <laughs> so cute okay, so what I'm planning on doing is prepping this this looks super easy I'm just gonna put it in the oven I'm not gonna prep like the little dressing I'll just do that the day of and then I'm going to do the lasagna soup that you guys have seen and shoot what's the last one that I was gonna do I think it must be on Pinterest it's like a, a tofu. I need to eat. Look at my hands shaking. I'm also making myself some breakfast. Um, frick. Where is it? Oh, this the buffalo ranch tofu wraps. I'm just going to marinate the tofu for now and then maybe I'll cook it tonight. All the meal prep is done. This is the cauliflower chickpeas and potato dish I just baked it in the oven I'll link all the recipes that I used down below um, and then this is buffalo like tofu that has breadcrumbs on it. I'm just waiting for it to cool before I put everything in the fridge and then in the fridge I made 
lasagna soup, um, but I just didn't put the noodles in it because I figured that I can heat it up and then like bring it to a boil and then you can add the noodles and it'll be perfect and it'll take like 10 minutes rather than having the noodles be like soggy and old. So this didn't take me too long. It's 11.54. I'm gonna head to the gym now, get in a good workout, and then we'll come home and get ready to go. Oh my gosh, you guys, today has been just so busy. I am headed to Winter Haven right now. I had to recurl my hair, um, find an outfit. I think I brought everything in my closet because I didn't know what was gonna happen because you guys know that whole saga. I just didn't make it to the mall today. I just, that is the last thing that I want to do is to go to the mall today. Um, and it's out of the way, so I was just like, yeah, it's not gonna happen, so. We'll figure it out. I have a lot of options. Um, none of them quite fit the vibe, but it's gonna be okay. I just finished my facial. I wanted to show you guys my skin. I don't know if you can like tell. I feel like you can. It is literally glowing. It looks, I was looking at my hair. It looks so good. It, and like the products that she used, I was like, Mara, this place is amazing. And she like put um, like this exfoliant on my arms and it kind of smells like pumpkin. It's giving fall. It smells so good. Um, and now I'm headed to the house that we're going to shoot this content at. Um, I'm a little nervous. My phone is at 27% and I didn't bring a charger. Like that should, that should have been like the most important thing that I brought and I didn't bring it. I can't believe I didn't bring a freaking charger. So I don't know contemplating stopping by like a Walgreens or something and grabbing a charger because I also am going to need a GPS to get home because your girl is like, she's a little far from home right now. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Leftover lasagna soup for dinner. Ooh, it's boiling. to come home for lunch because you guys I'm so excited but I actually still get my full lunch break like 12 to 2 which I was not expecting I thought that I was gonna start seeing patients at 1 and only have an hour lunch break so now I'm gonna be able to go to the gym still which I'm so excited about that's literally like the only thing I was nervous about about this transition so I'm literally I'm so excited but I didn't bring my gym clothes today um, to change into so I'm just going to skip the gym today campers at daycare on Tuesdays, so um, So Hoosier was home alone, so I decided ah, push me away babe to come home and just hang out with him Maybe we're going to walk <laughs> He hates walks <laughs> Oh, sorry the lighting is so weird I'm overexposed Anyway, for lunch, oh, sorry, Bobby, I have to step on you. For lunch today, I think I'm going to eat some of these leftover, or not leftover, but these meal prepped buffalo tofu that I made. I don't know if I, I think I showed you guys this yesterday. Um, I'll link the recipe below, but I kind of want to heat it up in the air fryer, and then I'm going to make the wrap. Hopefully it'll be <coughs> good. Sounds really good. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the air fryer, but I think I might have showed you guys this a little while ago when I got this in. It's like a, I don't know, it's a thing. It's like a brain activity for dogs. Which is really smart, so this is gonna be super easy for him, unfortunately. But I wanna give him a little bit of mental stimulation today. You can put like treats in the pockets, and he loves stuff like this. We have one that he does all the time. So he kind of knows how to do it. And I forgot about this. I actually couldn't find it and my housekeeper <laughs> found it, which is just hilarious. And so, like of course. And so we're gonna do this for him today. Let's go lunch. He gets a little snack, Hooge. Do a little brain activity for your snack. I feel like he gets so bored when campers at daycare, but Hoosier 
not like being outside of the home. He would hate daycare. And you have to be crate trained to be in daycare. And Hoosier has never in his life liked a crate. We tried to use it when he was younger for him to sleep in. And instead of sleeping in there when he knew it was close to bedtime, he would hide under the bed so that he wouldn't have to go in the crate. So then I'm actually going to like, well, okay. Here you go, Bubba. Going at the easy part first, huh? So this is what I'm going to use to assemble. I toasted this um, tortilla, the, um, the tofu from the air fryer, that mixture of like dill, cabbage, lettuce. I'm gonna put a little bit of buffalo sauce on top and then onions and some avocado. I really need to get a um, tripod for my camera. This is a terrible angle, I know. All right, I'm gonna put the lettuce down first. I don't want to overfill. And then I'm going to put the buffalo strips. I am going to break them up a little bit. These have like panko breadcrumbs on them too. So that'll be yummy. Some sliced red onions. Some avocado. And then I'm going to, I love buffalo sauce, you guys. <laughs> it's like a weird random fact about me. I'm gonna drizzle the avocado sauce on there. I mean, <laughs> avocado sauce and buffalo sauce. Add a little bit of salt. And then see if I can <laughs> close this. Okay. Make it like a burrito. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I toasted this too much, but it's okay. We'll cut that in half. Okay. Yum. That looks so good, actually. Okay, I just got, well, actually, I'm like, I got home probably like 45 minutes ago. I just wrapped up some charting and was outside with the dogs. Camper, please. They made this for Camper at daycare today. I'm dying. This is so cute. Bubba, this is really cute. So I'm not sure if I filmed this, but I found out today that I still have my two hour lunch break and I get to go to the gym still. Like, I think that was the biggest thing that was causing me anxiety was the fact that I was going to lose my gym time and then I was gonna have to go either like early in the morning and late at night and I didn't wanna do that. So now, literally you guys, this is the perfect schedule for me. I'm so incredibly happy with this. It's just like, it's gonna be, it's amazing. I'm 